driving licences. Here they are. There's this one, the old paper format, and there's this one, the photocard format. Now, regardless of which licence you have, we never look at them. The only time we look at them is possibly a check to see if they've expired, or if we have to hand them over to an officer of the law at the side of the road, or maybe if we're using them for some form of ID. Now, as well as that, the other times they asked for someone to say a license, or at least I have been recently when I've renewed the insurance on one of the cars outside there, uh, the insurance companies will ask for a sharing code or a viewing code of your license. You get that on the Gov UK website. I'll leave the link along here that you need to punch in, have a look at that in case you've never been asked that or in case you want to have a look at your license details and your driving history online. You will need your national insurance number, you'll need your driving license number and you'll need your postcode, but it will give you everything you need to know and you can take a copy of it and print it out. The code itself that you get from the Gov website only lasts for 21 days, but if you want something for your own personal records, you can certainly keep a copy of that and you've got that for your own personal records. Now, I did some digging around after I noticed this on uh, on my license details online, just to see what the statistics were and how it was all approached and what was going on with it. And I managed to find out that at any given time on the roads in the UK at the moment, there are approximately 926,000 drivers that are driving on an expired license. Now, these expired licenses are the, are the new photo card licenses. They're not that new, not anymore, but this is what they look like, a bit of a credit card size, got your photo on, all the particulars and the categories of what you can and can't drive. They're the ones that expire every 10 years because you're supposed to get them renewed and possibly change your photograph every 10 years as you change. Obviously, you need to change your photograph. There's also this type of license, the old paper format one. Those don't expire. Those last until you're 70 years of age, and then they'll have to be renewed. The photo card licences, as I said, they last every 10 years. Now, a lot of people don't realise that the photo card licence does have an expiration date, and they just assume that it's like it was with the old paper ones, where you can drive with those until you hit your 70th birthday, and then you've got to do something about it. But the photo card ones aren't like that. They expire every 10 years and do need to be renewed at a charge obviously. Now when I was getting my code in order to send over my insurance company so they could check that what I told them about my license was actually true and correct. Obviously you can't hide anything these days because every single part of your life is online to some degree. And I was having a look through and on the categories that I'm allowed to drive in, um, sorry, on the categories I'm allowed to drive with regards to the type of license that I have which will be similar to the type of license that you have as well because I'm not licensed to drive a bus, I'm not licensed to drive a wagon or an HGV uh, or a motorbike or a motorcycle or anything like that. I'm just licensed to drive cars. And on there, there was a category that I found really interesting. And I wondered if it's on everybody's license, because if it's not on your license and you're doing this, you're actually driving without a license for the vehicle that you're traveling in. Now, the category that's on there itself is category L, and it's listed as electrically propelled vehicles now that has to be an ev doesn't it it's electrically propelled there's no petrol there's no diesel there's no hydrogen etc etc it's electrically propelled so if you're driving an ev and you haven't got category l on your license it's worth checking just to make sure you don't get it caught out at the side of the road all it needs is for your bulbs to bear at the back of the car and you're flagged over by the police and they check your license and then they'll turn around and go sorry mate you know we're not actually licensed to drive this kind of vehicle so use this link and go and check your details online to make sure you've got category L on your license. Now, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't matter if it's not actually shown on the physical license you have in your hands, as long as it's shown online, uh, because it can be verified. Obviously, if you get pulled over the side of the road by an officer of the law, and uh, he turns around, he or she turns around and says, you're not licensed, your license doesn't cover you for driving this kind of vehicle, they can check that online, and online it should have category L on there it's a bit worrying that it's not on your licenses it's uh, it's very strange it doesn't show on both of these licenses that i have the old one or the photo card one it doesn't show on there but it does show online so technically um i don't know what would happen if i got pulled over and i was driving av but having said that that's not really something that's ever going to concern me because i have no intention of driving av just my personal choice personal opinion after I noticed that I had category L on my license online, I was wondering how many of you also have category L on uh, on your license online or even category L on the physical license you've got in the house or in your wallet or 
wherever it is you keep it for uh, for safety when you're not uh, you're not carrying it around with you. It would be amazing to think that there's actually people out there driving around in EVs when they're not actually licensed to drive an EV. It's something we never think of. We we'll just buy the car, tax it, insure it, put some fuel in it, and we'll drive off. I've never, in all honesty, I've never ever looked at my license. I don't know what kind of car I've wanted. I've gone to look at the car, I've bought the car, taxed it, insured it, put some fuel in it, drove it home. Um, never had a problem, never even thought to look at my license, something I very rarely do. Uh, maybe something that you should look at on your license just to make sure you're covered for driving the kind of car that you're actually driving these days. Well, that's going to do it for this one. So if you've enjoyed this video or it's been so it's brought some information to you that you weren't fully aware of, don't forget to press the like button on the way out. Consider subscribing to the channel. So much more coming. Now the car show season has ended. I'm going to get back into working on the cars. Got a bunch of parts that are beginning to turn up yet. So we'll be able to get some proper work done on the cars. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.